Hello, I'm Melanie King. I work with Brooke Moore at California State University, Chico. Today we are discussing fallacies. We're going to show you a brief video titled Find the Fallacy. After viewing this video, you should be able to recognize a variety of fallacies. Here are Curtis and Jennifer. Curtis is trying everything to talk Jennifer into getting a new car. How many fallacies can you spot in their conversation? Hey Jennifer, they are having a huge sale on Lexuses. You, you, you want to go look? <laughs> we don't need a new car. There's nothing wrong with the car we have. Besides, a Lexus is way out of our price range. Well, our car isn't going to last forever, you know? Doesn't it seem like it's getting harder to start? Most people don't keep their cars as long as us, you know? Curtis, we really don't have the money right now for car payments. Well, there is a good chance that I am going to get a raise. Really? What makes you say that? I just, I can feel it coming. I feel it. Curtis, that's just wishful thinking. We don't need a new car and we can't afford one. And there's no reason to think that will change in the immediate future. Well, our car isn't as safe as it might be, you know? It doesn't even have side airbags. How would you feel if we got in an accident and one of the dogs got seriously hurt? Are you telling me that you don't care about the dogs? Curtis, get real! Of course I care about the dogs! Honey, I'm sorry. Of course you do. You are the perfect mom. Everybody knows that. Oh, Curtis, stop trying to butter me up. The truth is we can't afford a new car right now, airbags or no airbags. Well, look at your sister and her husband. How come they can always drive a sharp new car? You think they make more money than us? Don't forget, when you were kids, your sister got all the attention. Curtis, please leave my sister out of this. She has nothing to do with this. Don't you think it would help me get a promotion if we had a new Lexus? You know, appearances are everything. You gotta spend money to make money, right? Curtis, that's just silly talk. There's nothing wrong with the car we have. Well, most of our neighbors drive better cars than us. <sighs> Look at that. I think it's time for me to go shopping. Shall I pick you up a new Lexus while I'm out? Oh, honey. I am so glad that you are willing to think about it. You always keep an open mind. I love that about you. Hmm. Do you think Curtis is going to end up with a new car? I doubt it, but he gave it a heck of a try. Next, I'm going to tell you the fallacies in this conversation. If you want to make your own list and compare your answers with mine, go back and watch the video again. Okay, here we go. The first fallacy is when Curtis says, Our car isn't going to last forever, you know? Doesn't it seem like it's getting harder to start? Here, Curtis is inventing reasons for buying a new car. In other words, he is committing the fallacy of rationalizing. Next, Curtis says, Most people don't keep their cars as long as us. This is an appeal to common practice. When Jennifer asks Curtis why he thinks he is going to get a raise, Curtis says, I just, I can feel it coming. I feel it. This is the fallacy of wishful thinking. Stay with us here. Curtis is just warming up. Next he says, Well, our car isn't as safe as it might be, you know? It doesn't even have side airbags. How would you feel if we got in an accident and one of the dogs got seriously hurt? This is scare tactics. Next, Curtis asks Jennifer, Are you telling me that you don't care about the dogs? Here, Curtis is guilt tripping Jennifer. Then we hear Curtis saying, Honey, I'm sorry. Of course you do. And then he adds, You are the perfect mom. Everybody knows that. Here, Curtis is combining two fallacies, apple polishing and appeal to popularity. Next, Curtis jumps right off the rhetorical cliff when he tells Jennifer, just look at your sister and her husband. You think they make more money than us? Then he says, don't forget when you were kids, your sister got all the attention. Here, Curtis is using argument from envy. During the rest of their discussion, Curtis repeats several fallacies, wishful thinking, 
argument from envy, peer pressure, and apple polishing. Let's review what we've learned during this little dramatic episode of Find the Fallacy. Here they are once more, in no particular order. Rationalizing, appeal to common practice, wishful thinking, scare tactics, guilt trip, appeal to popularity, apple polishing, peer pressure, and argument from envy. We hope you have found this video useful and entertaining. On behalf of Brooke Moore and Richard Parker, the authors of Critical Thinking from McGraw-Hill, I'm Melanie King, and we thank you.